I'm Ben Anderson, the co-founder of Musicalize, which is a live music showcase event. And uh, how long have you been working in the industry? Um, yeah, about two years in the industry. Um, basically, my first kind of brushes with music were about two and a half years ago. Um, but yeah, in terms of sort of setting up Musicalize, April 2011 was our first event. And what inspired you to become part of the industry? Um, I guess for me it was a genuine love of new and up and coming talent. Um, I went through a stage where sitting at home in Birmingham I used to go on YouTube an awful lot and I found a lot of artists that I couldn't work out why they weren't famous or why they weren't signed artists. Um, I guess again a bit of an inexperience uh, in the industry there from my perspective. Um, but I just genuinely loved finding new talent. I also then started to realise that there was a lot going on in the London scene in terms of where artists could perform. So um, I used to meet the artists, talk to them online and then direct them to all the shows that I knew where they should be performing and then basically thought why don't I just put on my own show and then they can all come and perform for me. That's kind of where it all started. So um, what advice would you offer someone trying to get into the, the field that you're in? Um, I'd say there's a couple of things that I'd say is probably like be quite spontaneous with things. Um, this is to, to say that you want to kind of become an event owner or you want to work in events in the music industry is very, very broad. Um, people ask me how I kind of landed in it and I just say that I in effect created my own job. Um, I suppose for me the, the, the key there would be do your research, um, maybe find out a little bit more about what it is that you want to do. Um, my jump into the industry was very much I'm going to quit the day job and just do this. I probably wouldn't advise everyone to do that, you know, if you're in a position to go for it, you know, take risks and things like that. But do think it out, you know, try and, and meet as many people. Um, something I probably if I was going to do it all over again, what I might have done is worked on events, um, you know, contacted a few event owners and tried to see what they do and maybe build a bit of experience that way. But um, at the same time, don't wait around for, you know, if you really want to do something, just, just make it happen. That's kind of my biggest bit of advice, really. And what would you advise upcoming artists in the music industry? Um, for up and coming artists, my biggest advice is really um, focus on your content. Um, I'm sure it was, I think it was Charlie Sloth I heard say this, um, and I will keep like reusing it, I'm sure he didn't make it up, but content is king. Um, that's literally like my biggest advice. As an artist, and particularly from my perspective as an event owner, I want to be able to, if someone applies to be on a show that we're running, I want to be able to go and see that there's some consistent music that's been put through. If they approach me one month to, to do a show and I, you know, for whatever reasons it can't work and then I'm three, six months down the line and they're sending me the same material, for me then I don't see that they've progressed as an artist. Um, and, and I know that a lot of artists have got the material but obviously want to hold on to it. I understand that but again I'd just say keep it consistent, you know, just drip feed the fans, drip feed your supporters, drip feed us as people that are connected into the industry with your content, just so that we can see that you're always active. And um, and what's the greatest moment of your career so far? Uh, greatest moment of my career so far would probably be a fourth Musicalize event, um, selling out Proud 2, so having like nearly three and a half thousand people. Um, at an event that we were doing and that was a really big achievement because um, it, it worked for a number of reasons. We, we did we raised a lot of money for a charity, um, at the same time it put Musicalize on the map. Uh, but yeah, I, I'll never forget that feeling of going backstage once doors had opened and then coming back and seeing, you know, an absolutely packed venue. So yeah, definitely a career highlight at the moment. What sort of artists have you worked with in the industry? Uh, artists that we've worked with so far, um, our headline acts, um, obviously Ed Sheeran, and Wretch 3-2, uh, we've worked with Professor Green, Dappy, um, we've also done stuff with the likes of Clement Marfo in the front line, um, Getz was a headliner for us, Lady Leisha, so like a real 
eclectic mix and then obviously for each show that we've done you know the support acts and, and everyone else that's featured it's been a real wide range of artists so I think to date we've probably worked with well certainly in excess of 100 artists um, across all of our shows um, and yeah plenty more to work with I'm sure. How would you advise artists um, on getting shows in the industry? Okay. In terms of getting shows for an artist, obviously there are lots of shows, but, but obviously you want to pick and choose, you know, like where you're performing. Um, I think the best advice I would have is to kind of have a really good press pack. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be like anything fancy, but just something that's really consist, uh, concise. Um, you know, states who you are. It's got all your contact details, all your links to your music, just all in one place. Because as someone that gets a lot of emails coming through. I, want, I don't ever want to have to go and search in YouTube to find the artist. I, I want to have you know their links ready for me to, to go and see. So yeah, just have something consistent, and uh, yeah, try and appeal to as many events as you possibly can. You know, reach out. Um, maybe if it's you're living in London, London isn't the only place in the UK to perform. You know, try and reach out maybe to another city. Um, if you know that there's another artist that's similar, try and reach out maybe to their management to look for support slots. Um, just, just be really creative, but make sure that you've got all the information in one place. Don't ever leave anyone having to come back to you because the minute they've got to do that, the chances they probably won't pick up the phone to, to ask those questions. And finally, what is your ultimate goal in the music industry? Um, my ultimate goal in the music industry um, pretty selfish one for musicalize is um, yeah for us just to become as big and as you know the best that we possibly can be um, in the UK uh, we're looking at like a really good period now of you know we've had some good events so far we want to like expand that we want to grow um, you you know you can expect to see more consistency from musicalize you'll see hopefully musicalize touring with artists um, yeah a lot of things that we're, we're looking to do in the future and where can you find out more about musicalize you can find out more at www.musicalize.co.uk also facebook.com forward slash musicalize or if you're on twitter twitter.com forward slash musicalize uk